This is going to be the last of our equations, excuse me, inequalities. Okay, on this one, uh, I have three different types. We're going to start with this one because there'll be just one answer and one answer only. Then we'll move to this one and see what no solution means. And then we'll go to the last one, and which means many solutions. Okay, let's solve this like we normally solve inequalities. We're going to take care of any distribution, we're going to combine any like terms, and then we'll start making our move. So it looks like this side is ready to go, so I'm going to say 4x plus 5 is greater than 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3 plus 6. All right, now let's get our x's together. Would it be in our best interest to move the 2 over here or the 4 that way? I like to keep things positive, so let's move the 2, the 2x. Let's take away 2x to clear. Let's take away 2x. We now have 2x plus 5 is greater than 6. This is right along the lines of what we've been doing, isn't it? Okay, now let's have the 5 move to the other side. Take away 5. Take away 5. We now have 2x is greater than a 6 and a negative 5 would be a positive 1. Now we can't stop there because we have 2x. Let's divide both sides by 2. And when you do that, x will be greater than 1 half. Now, if it asks you to graph it on the number line, we can do that. There is one answer, and the only answer is this answer. So if we were going to do a number line, and this is 0 and this is 1, then I would go between 0 and 1 with an open circle. And look at x. x is greater than 1 half. So greater than on the number line goes to the right. So this would be a picture of this inequality when asked to graph it, okay? All right, now let's move to our next one. On this one, it looks like we're going to distribute first, and then we'll see what happens after that. A negative 5 times x is a negative 5x, and a negative times a negative, 5 times 6, two negatives make a positive, plus 30 is less than 8, minus 5x. Now, the first thing I always do is I start with my x's, not my numbers. If you're going to move things and get the x's on one side and the, ver the numbers on the other, let's start with our x's. Okay, I'm getting ready to move my 5x, but look what happens. If I do a plus 5 here, that clears, and if I move the plus 5 over here, it doesn't matter which way I go. Either way, the negative 5x's are going to clear out. So I'm just going to clear them out. Okay? So they're gone. Now, let's take a look at something here. In the past, if this had been an equation, you would have had a 30 equals an 8. You had no x. You'd say no solution. But you can, cannot necessarily say that. We have to read what is left since we're dealing with an inequality. You see this statement right here. If that statement is true, then we're going to say many solutions, all real numbers. If the statement is false, then there is no solution for this inequality. 30 is less than 8. No. 30 is not less than 8. This is a no solution. Your variable is gone, and the statement that is left doesn't make sense. It's not a true statement. So there's nothing you can, nothing further to do. Don't divide both sides by something. Don't move over to the other side. It's finished. No solution on that one. Now, if the answer had been a negative 30 is less than 8, that would have been a true statement, right? And then we could go with many solutions. Maybe that will happen in this next one. We'll take a look. All right, let's come over here and let's distribute. On this one, it looks like we have 2x plus 12 is greater than 2 plus 2x. 
Now, there's a good reason why I always start with my variable, because if you lose your variables, you're pretty much close to the end. Let's not start with our numbers. Let's start with our variables each time. Okay, I'm getting ready to move my 2x one, one way or another. But no matter which way I move, you know what's getting ready to happen. If I do a negative 2, is, either way, it's going to clear out, isn't it? Okay, so these clear out totally. Gone. Now, look what I'm left with. I'm left with a 12 is greater than 2. That statement is a true statement. If 12 is greater than 2, and that's true, then there are many solutions, there are many answers to this inequality. So we refer to it as being many solutions, kind of like all real numbers that we used for our equations. Consistent, dependent, um, because there are many answers that will solve this inequality. So first we had one solution only, where we got down to x was greater than, less than, or equal to something. Then we lost our x's here, and the statement was not true, no solution. And then on this one, we distributed, lost our x's, cleared them out, and we saw that the statement was true. So we said many solutions, consistent, dependent, all real numbers, uh, any of those answers would be fine. Okay, that's the end of uh, inequalities, and uh, we'll be moving on to a new topic in our next video.